Okay, everybody. Uh, this is going to be an overview of how I created the animation for the uh, iClone lip sync challenge video. And uh, as you can see here, we have a couple of characters. We've got a girl, we got a guy, we've got a dead dinosaur here in the back, we've got some jungle. Uh, anyway, um, so so this is just going to be an overflow uh, overview of the workflow. And later on, I'm going to get into um, how I did the specific individual points because there's a lot of uh, lot to this and I, I don't want to you know bog the whole thing down I just want to give you an idea of what went into making this and uh, and then of course I'll be showing you later on how to do all the individual pieces but let's go through this bit by bit uh, the first step was to create the characters and I did that in this uh, character creator 3 and if you've seen my previous tutorials I did tutorials on uh, make human this is like make human on steroids uh, so this is one of my characters and uh, oh zoom out and anyway what I did was I took one of these pre-built characters that comes with it one of these uh, kind of avatars that comes with the, the software and then of course just like in um, a motion builder or um, I'm sorry a make human you can go ahead and you can find some different um, sliders and then you can manipulate him and make him look super fat if you want super skinny if you want uh, as you can see you can get a lot of different looks here uh, this heart shaped face. There you can give him a Habsburg jaw, make him look like a, like a cr crazy, uh, um, whatchamacallit, inbred royal person or something. Anyway, so anyway, I had the character the way that I liked it and I went ahead and just exported him. You can export him to FBX. And as you can see, they even kindly gave you a blender preset. And the great thing about FBX, I wish I had this file format years and years ago. It would have saved me so much trouble because everything gets exported. You got the the, the mesh data, the um, the textures, the animation, everything reads it, everything writes to it. It's wonderful. In Blender, you can just go ahead and say file, import, FBX, and that's all you have to do. And everything comes in. And uh, I'll get into that kind of stuff later. But I went ahead and I created the character in uh, Character Creator 3. I created both him and the girl. Now, the girl, I went ahead and uh, the clothing for the girl came with, there was a, a clothing pack, and this kind of uh, black jumpsuit looked really good on her. So I put that on her in uh, Character Creator. If it's clothes that come inside the Character Creator, if you go into the um, the clothing area and stuff, you can... Um, you can close here, and then these things will auto-conform to the character. So that saves you quite a bit of time. But in this case, for the guy, for example, I had to go ahead. I found this leather jacket and these flight suit boots and stuff. And I had to go ahead and uh, add those to the character later. But we'll get into that in a uh, later tutorial. But I just went ahead and created the characters, manipulated the sliders till I got the look I want, export as FBX. Uh, but I also um, wanted to do the facial animation, and I didn't want to do that in Blender because I've done that kind of stuff in Blender before. It's a nightmare. It's really hard to do. I tried to do some shake and bake stuff. It doesn't work. So uh, I wanted to do that inside the iClone software, which is iClone is, is um, what they use for the um, all of the uh, uh, iClone. You can do all the animation with the characters you created. And so the great thing about that is it's got a lot of these tools already built in for doing kind of uh, the character animation you would expect, like lip sync. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. I went ahead from inside of here, and I said just file, export, and then send the character to iClone. So you send him directly to iClone. And then in here, I went ahead and uh, selected, made sure the character was selected, go to animation, create script, Aculips, okay? And there's this website, uh, I can link to it later, and it's uh, called the 11 Second Animation Challenge. <clears throat> it's open to any kind of animation style. And they have 11 second uh, animation or uh, audio clips. So I just took one off of their site that I thought was funny, which is from this, uh, um, this uh, whatchamacallit, uh, February thing. It's from this cheesy movie called Velocipaster, which is about a, a, a priest who turns into a velociraptor. I swear to God, that's actually what happens in the movie. And uh, in this uh, scene, in this line, he's saying that he doesn't believe dinosaurs even exist and that he doesn't believe he turns into one. So I just imported the uh, audio file. And then you can go ahead and say generate text. If you have a script that has the exact lines and words and stuff, you could use that as well or you could write it uh, in there by hand. If you do that generate script, 
it will do an okay job. There's plenty of words it will kind of mess up, and there's some words it won't understand at all, and those words will be in red. As you can see here, it says, I can sir the body, okay? She actually says, I can show you the body. So you'll have to rewrite those yourself. Uh, but of course, that's not the purpose of this tutorial. This is just to show you how everything kind of went. So we can just, um, everything's in there. We can just press align. It will auto align the vizemes. And it does a, a, a decent job. But of course, like everything else that's automated, you have to go in and tweak it and stuff. So you can go in here to this word here, matter. Maybe you think it should start a little bit uh, late, earlier and end a little bit later. So you just grab these. This is like um, the uh, workflow we used to have for, and they had that Papagayo software um, that there was, um, there was a, uh, what should we call add-on for Blender that used to work with that Papagayo software. So this is the same kind of concept. You just line all this stuff up, and when you're done with that, you say apply. Of course, I've already done this. I don't want to do that again. And then it'll put that all into, um, it will add the lip sync for you. And the lip sync will be good, but it'll, you'll find it's, it's very basic. It's, it's kind of like, doesn't have a lot of personality. So what you can do is you can highlight just a certain section. You can go ahead to a certain section. And you, let's say these two words, that doesn't. You can just line this up to one of these uh, lines here between the words right click on it and say break now this ch chunk here with these two words is its own section so you can right click on that and say talking style editor and then there's different styles here you can uh, choose which phonemes that you want to uh, emphasize and so let's say for example you want this one to be the uh, yelling one so then in just for these two words he's gonna yell those two words okay and I'll go again, I can go into this in depth, but to be honest with you, uh, the iClone uh, website has tons of tutorials on how to do this stuff, and they're much more detailed than I could pro probably do, and there's no point in doing it because, uh, you know, it's already been done. So their tutorials are very in-depth on how to do the actual lip sync animation. And as you can see here, one of the things I like is that, look how detailed the eyes are and stuff. So there's a lot of detail in these characters, and I didn't have to really do much. Uh, to get that out because they're already kind of built like that. So that's why I, I went with this workflow. Uh, when I was done with everything, again, your uh, export uh, to FBX. FBX is your friend. It's your buddy. So uh, inside of Blender, now I want to have a lot more control over things. Now you can go ahead and just import the character. Um, you could, for example, inside of iClone, you could apply motion capture data to it. Uh, but I wanted to uh, do stuff in Blender, and I knew that later on I was going to be uh, wanting to animate these characters, um, you know, in, in a, you know, manually. I might want to go ahead and 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 do some uh, IK animation stuff. So I went ahead and I found a um, plugin. It's called uh, Auto Rig Pro. Auto Rig Pro. Here it is, and. Before I was like kind of really negative about uh, you know buying pl plugins for Blender because I thought this is kind of fly by night and stuff you know this changes so quickly, but now th there's a robust Blender marketplace and it's really good to to promote. If we get people making money off of Blender plugins, then they'll keep developing stuff for it. So this thing is perfect for these bipeds, and as you can see here. Uh, really, it's really just for, for human beings. But if you want to do like a, a dog or a, a dragon, you're, you're probably not going to want to use this. But if you want to do a human being, it does that perfectly. And you just bring the guy in, add these clothes and stuff. I went ahead and hid the parts of the body that would be under the clothes using the mask operator or um, modifier. And then I just went ahead and selected uh, him and his clothes under um, skinning, um, rigging. I went ahead and... and I'll get into that later, but uh, you can rig the whole character at once with all his clothes intact, and it produces a really complex rig. And then the skinning, this is the biggest thing, because the, the weight painting takes forever, and it's so tedious, but it does such a phenomenal job. Like these fingers here, I was like, oh my god, it got the fingers perfect every single time. I know that looks wonky, but that's from the motion capture data. But he's off screen, so I didn't edit it. So... Um, 
but it, it did such a phenomenal job. Strangely enough, it's the legs that I found I had to edit manually, the weight paints on those, but there was not that much to do. And um, so that is a, uh, a lifesaver. And then if you go under miscellaneous, there's a remapping section, and this is where you can apply motion capture to it. So what I did was I took some uh, motion capture from uh, Mixamo, and I went ahead and brought in the different Mixamo uh, motion clips. I used the retargeting function here to retarget it to this uh, guy. And then I went ahead and created those as clips here in the NLA. Oh, and one more thing. As you can see here, the, uh, the Auto Rig Pro, I used that for um, the whole body and stuff like that, the rigging. What I did was when I brought in this guy from um, Character Creator, he had a full skeleton already attached to him. But since I wanted to use um, the Auto Rig Pro skeleton, I deleted everything except these facial bones. That's why you see these bones here have these kind of lines. So I set those bones to um, line object mode. And um, I used those, um, those bones to animate the face and stuff because those are the bones that uh, iClone uses to manipulate the eyes and the mouth and the tongue and everything like that. Everything else is created with shape keys and stuff. So you'll see there's the shape key um, editor and stuff like that, um, uh, animation. Uh, same thing with the girl. I did the same thing. I, I did um, kind of like a uh, quick and dirty kind of... I tried doing some, some, uh, some really complex dynamics with her hair and it was not working out at all. It was a nightmare. So I, I'll do a tutorial on how I did her hair later. But uh, it's, it's kind of like a quick and dirty kind of method of doing it. But I was able to do this. Now, of course, I should have spent a lot more time on it. I wish I had a lot more time. It was the beginning. The semester was coming up and stuff. And all these courses were coming in. I had to do media for. And it was a nightmare. I was completely swamped. And um, I barely had time to work on this. So it's not the best it could be. But uh, I found out that, oh my God, this is a great workflow. I'm going to be doing tons of stuff with this workflow. And there's a lot of steps just to get everything set up. But once you get everything set up, you basically can do an infinite number uh, amount of anim animation with very little effort and stuff. So it is a phenomenal way of working. And I'm going to be doing some more detailed stuff really soon in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you stay tuned.